Hi, this is Mike Lawless, and in this video, I'll discuss how to install AppMap Predictor 9.5 standalone version. The first thing you want to do is download AppMap AP 9.5 underscore install parentheses x64.zip from the Sharefile server. Once it's downloaded, you'll want to either uncompress or unzip AP 9.5 underscore install. This will create a folder called AP 9.5 underscore install. The next step is to run the setup.exe in the folder. This will acquire a host ID for licensing. It will install the Flexera licensing system, and it will also install AdMet Predictor. Acquiring the host ID will create an SLP host ID underscore info dot text file on your desktop, and this should be mailed to licensing at simulations dash plus dot com. This information will be used to create a custom license file specific for your computer. We'll email that back to you. And then the final steps are simply importing this license into the Flexera graphical user interface. Starting to my predictor, the first time you start it, it's going to prompt for uh, a couple things. One is whether you have a, a system server or a file. Typically, you want to point to the system server. And then it's going to prompt you for the IP address or the name of the computer that runs the licensing server. In this case, it's going to be a uh, local, so you can either add uh, 127.0.0.1. If that doesn't work, you can try localhost as it. And then once you've entered this, then AdMet Predictor will start up. Here I've logged into our share file server and gone into the AdMet Predictor installations files directory. And you'll see that there are various folders from previous versions of AdMet Predictor. I'm going to click on the AP95 install folder. And you'll see that there's four files in here. The most important is this AP underscore install x64.zip file. So to download that file, I'm just going to click on this box here, and then these menus appear, and then I'll click Download. And you'll see down the lower left-hand corner, it gives me progress on the, on the download of this file. Okay, the file's completely downloaded now. Uh, so in Chrome, I'll just click here and click Show in Folder. This will open up a file browser window and show the ap95 underscore install.zip. So you need to go into... Uh, the zip file, right click on it, and then select Extract All. This will open a new window that prompts you where you want to uh, place the unzipped folder, and that'll be in D Documents. So I'll just go ahead and click Extract, and it begins uh, extracting the files and very quickly produces an uncompressed folder, and then it opens that up in a file browser. Now we'll start the installation procedure by double clicking on setup.exe. This will bring up the AdMet Predictor 9.5 setup launcher. You simply want to click on AdMet Predictor 9.5. It shows this splash screen and then shows that uh, it's preparing the installation for Shield Wizard. This dialog box will come up and we simply click yes or next. Uh, this displays the license agreement, which you must agree with to install the software. Uh, we would then select the standalone, since this is a standalone installation. Uh, click Next, and it, uh, you have two choices here. Acquire host ID for licensing now, or do it manually later. We're going to do it right now. Uh, so when I click Next, it launches a program that uh, gathers some information from your computer and puts it in this SLP host ID uh, info uh, .txt file, uh, which is placed on your uh, desktop. Uh, you'll need to email that to licensing at simulations-plus.com. Next, it will prompt to install the Flexera licensing system, and we simply say next here. And it begins installing FlexNet. So simply uh, click next. For the next screen, installation folders will go in Program Files x86, FlexNet, Publisher, uh, Licensing. Uh, everything here is OK, so we'll just click Next, Next, and it begins installing. We want to install the Visual C++ 2008 redistribution package. And then this is going to set up 8090 as the HTTP port. 
uh, all this uh, is pretty standard so go ahead and click next it's going to start lm admin and we want to run this as a service and uh, you can click start server now uh, if you'd like and that will try and start lm admin uh, running and uh, if that's successful then it will open up internet browser and in this case it opened up and, and showed mine so go ahead and click done and then it will move on to the next install shield wizard here it's going to now install admet predictor uh, 9.5 so just click next we'll come to this point it's copying files over extracting them uh, now the installation is finished so this completes the video on installation of Admet Predictor 9.5. I want to thank you for your attention. Uh, if you have any questions, please send me an email at mlawless at simulations-plus.com or you can call me at 661-723-7723, extension 243. Thanks again and have a good day.